Hello, Internet. It is Monday, November 11th. I am your host, Chet Siegel, and today's Guyism Speed Round is sponsored by The Wrong Mans, a brilliant new action comedy television series from the BBC and Hulu. In the show, two ordinary British men get caught up in a deadly criminal conspiracy after they discover a ringing telephone at the scene of a car crash. It's scary, it's funny, it's British, it is absolutely not to be missed. And you can watch the very first two episodes of The Wrong Man's today on Hulu. But please, please wait until the speed round is over. Now, let's start the show. Gore Vidal's sister said in a recent interview with the New York Times that he may have been a pedophile. But then again, you know how sisters are. A poultry farm in Henneker, New Hampshire has been plumping up their turkeys by force-feeding them beer. Because why eat a plain old turkey on Thanksgiving when you can have a date-raped one? Tom Cruise made headlines recently after he said that his job as an actor is just as difficult as fighting the war in Afghanistan. <laughs> Tom, you realize they don't let soldiers stand on apple boxes to make them seem big and tall, right? <laughs> A 13-year-old boy in Garnett, Kansas, was suspended after he refused to stop wearing his Vera Bradley purse. It's just not the type of thing that a boy should be wearing in my school, said Principal Michael Kors. Scarlett Johansson said in a recent interview with Mary Claire magazine that she thinks porn can be, quote, very productive for both men and women and that she is very pro-porn. And no, Internet, it does not mean that she'll be doing porn. So. Stop asking. Due to public outrage, a school board in Florida is considering changing the name of a predominantly black high school that is named after the very first Grand Wizard of the KKK. Said the former Grand Wizard's family, oh yes, please, absolutely get his name off of that school. Gross. A man in England died after he accidentally drank over $54,000 worth of liquid meth that his daughter says he mistook for a health drink. Liquid meth, for the mornings when you just don't have the time to sit down for breakfast. It was recently discovered that the editor-in-chief of Bloomberg News did not publish a story because it was critical to the Chinese government. Ugh, great. Now even the news is made in China. All right, guys, that is going to do it for today's Guys and Speed Round. I have been and will continue to be Chet Siegel. If you liked what you saw, click that like button on down below. Shoot this link to a couple of your nearest and dearest. If you've got questions for me, by God, ask them on my Facebook page. Or tweet them at me at Chet Siegel. Either way, they're going to get to me, I promise. Just make sure that you come back tomorrow for more headlines that you need to know.